everyone, this is Deborah, and in this video I'm going to show you how to create columns of text as if it were a newspaper or magazine. Okay, on my screen I have a Word document with just some random text and um, a main title going across the top. It's so easy, you're not going to believe it. Just all you do is take your mouse and click anywhere inside the body of the text. It could be in the paragraph, at the end of the paragraph, just anywhere in the body of the text. Then you come up here and you go to the Layout tab and there's a button called Columns. So you click that and you can choose two, three, two or three columns. Um, left and right are not generally um, used too much, at least not that I've seen. They're sort of weird looking in my book. Um, I'll show you what one looks like. If I click left, that's how it splits it up. Um, I don't care for that personally, so I just undo that. So instead, you know, again, make sure my flashing insertion point is anywhere inside the body of the text, and I click columns, and I'm going to choose two. Okay, so it split the whole thing, the entire document, into two columns. And the way that it's read is it goes down the first column on the left, all the way to the bottom, and then you continue reading at the top of the next column, and then go down from there. And when you get to the bottom of that column, you go on to the next page, which starts again at the top of the left side, going down. All right, well, uh, I hope you can see the problem that uh, has been created here, which is the fact that the title of the document no longer goes across the top in the center as I would want it to go. Instead, it became part of one of the columns. Okay, there's a way to avoid that. So I'm going to undo what I just did. And what you do is you click your mouse to the end of the main title, the far right hand side, and you insert a section break. Now, you may not know that much about section breaks yet. You've probably used them just a little bit in the last uh, module or in, in possibly this one. But uh, in any case, you need to put in a section break to divide up this paper this page so that the main title is in one section and the rest of the text is in another section so that whatever I do to the text won't affect the main title because they'll be in two separate sections of the document. So to do that I stay right here on the layout tab and I go right up here to the breaks button. I click that and there's lots of things to choose from, but the only one I want right now is down here in the section breaks area. I do not want next page because what that'll do is push everything down into an, a whole other page. What I want is this one. This is called the continuous section break. It will insert an invisible section break and start the new section on the same page. So wherever my flashing insertion point is, and in this case it's at the end of the main title. Wherever it is, that's where the break will be inserted. So I'm going to go to breaks, I'm going to go to continuous, and click continuous. Okay, you notice that some of the, the, the uh, body text sort of got shoved down. Well, I don't want that either. I want the body text to remain close to the title. So what I do there is I go to the home tab, the home tab up here, and I want to see where the section break is because right now it's invisible. So to do that you want to go to the show hide button. So I'm going to click that to show the non-printing characters. There is the section break. Okay, And it created a separate paragraph, a whole new paragraph. It shoved everything down. Well I want to delete that this paragraph right here, so I'm just going to press the delete key and now the text is sitting where I want it to be. So I'm going to leave this show hide button turned on so that you can see where the section break is and I'm going to place my mouse anywhere inside the body of the text away from the title. I'm going to click to put my flashing point there and then I'm going to go put the columns in. So I'm going to go back to the layout tab. 
I'm going to go to the Columns button and choose two columns. Now that is what I wanted. Another thing you can do is go back to the Columns button and go down here to the bottom where it says More Columns. When you click that, you get this dialog box where things can get very precise. I'm not going to get into that because it's just not necessary in this uh, demonstration. But I do want to point this out to you. Line between. Some people like to have that. Some people don't. But I want you to, to know that it's here as an option. I'm going to click a check mark into that little box. And by the way, here is the preview of what it's going to look like. And you may notice that there is now a vertical line in between these two columns. So if I remove that check mark, the, the uh, visible line disappears in the preview. So I'm going to put it back, click OK, and now this is what I have on my page. And just to get a clear picture of it, I'm going to go back to the Home tab. I'm going to turn off the Show Hide button and this is now what it looks like. And I'm going to zoom out so that you can see the two pages. I've got about a page and a half of text. And there's only a line on the first page because that's the only page that has two columns on it. This page doesn't have enough text to show the second column. And without that, you're not going to see a line. The only time you'll see the line is if you have at least two columns of text. And that's how you create columns of text.